Okay. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining today's Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Um, today is January 11. Um, on the agenda, I have GSOC 2024 update, uh, change Twitter to X on Jenkins.io, and FOSTEM 24 discussion. Is there anything else that we should add to the agenda? Not that I know. Awesome. All right, we'll get started. So the two action items that I carried over from our last meeting was, um, and these two items are still work in progress um, because it, it, I foresee that it will continue to be a work in process for a while. So it's to continue to recruit uh, GSOC mentors for 2024 and then our FOSTEM logistics. So that's going to be ongoing for another couple of weeks at least. Um, so GSOC 2024, uh, I am planning for a January 25th Jenkins online meetup uh, to discuss how to prepare your proposal. And this will be dedicated to um, the new contributors, potential contributors. So I will be circling the slide deck for that um, this week. And then we also need to scrub and finalize the project ideas list. I know that's also on um, Chris's to-do list as well. I know he's think um, they are thinking about it. So um, we need to work on that. And then an, um, an important milestone or date that is approaching for us is mentoring org application that will begin on January 22nd. And I will be driving that effort as well. Mark, you have a uh, question? Yeah, so one of the one of the on the scrub and finalize project ideas list, I've certainly got an action that <clears throat> the the git plugin use um bear token bear authentic bear token authentication probably will drop and I've got to do the backend extension indexer create so that one feels like it's it's viable, but I've got to do a prototype or at least do some exploration before I can be comfortable putting it on. So one one is going to drop. The bear token thing doesn't look like it's viable to me. And the the backend extension ind indexer looks very much viable, but needs a prototype. Okay. Great. Thanks, Mark. Anything else from um, for GSOC 2024 before we move on. How is the activity on the um, on the social network? So do we see positive activity or? I'm seeing actually a lot of activities. So um, yeah, be ready. I think, you know, just like previous years, there are people are asking, they're interested, how can they contribute or, you know, where do they get started? Where, where do they get started? Yeah. So, okay, so there is interest. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm seeing as much traffic as we've seen in years past, John Mark, but but again, every year is different and and every pool of potential contributors is different. Yeah. See activity around... Uh... Well, I'm looking at that from too far uh, to to judge correctly. I, I see indeed activity too. So a uh, reminder, Alyssa, I'm trying to follow as much as I can, but I expect Chris or you or Bruno to shout if I need to jump in specifically. Otherwise, I'm just yeah in the in the back seat. Yeah, yeah, Watch got it. it. Thanks, John Mark. And then the next item I have is, um, so I'm on the Jenkins.io homepage at the moment, at the bottom here. I think perhaps maybe we change this to letter X, to the X logo versus Twitter. Just just something that I saw, minor stuff. Wow. This is I think right here. It's a, it's a good idea. So I, I, I confess though, I'm, I won't understand if I just see the letter X there. Could we put Twitter slash X for mm -hmm. for those like me who who think that the choice of X as their as their name confuses me very terribly because I happen to have a thing called X Windows running on my Linux computer, yeah, and I have quite a number of other <laughs> things that use X in their name. 
And, and okay, not everybody has that problem. Not everybody has ancient experience with old Linux things, but, but for me, replacing with just X is short. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will be unclear. My, yeah. my recommendation would be there to, uh, paraphrase, uh, the, um, uh, newspapers that that say uh, X previously known as Twitter. Okay, that that would be fine. Yeah, and Alyssa, I think we the, have enough room there. Go ahead. Alyssa's showing the image of the X logo, and when it's the X logo, that part I understand. Mm -hmm. But that place you were showing on the on the Jenkins site really doesn't have a, a great facility to put the X logo in, right? If we're going to put the X logo in, we should probably put the Reddit logo and the mm. github logo and gotcha. and so i i think i think that's just words right now and words and hyperlinks and putting a logo in there would would be a little unsettling at least for me okay yeah and i think it's fine we put you know twitter slash x uh with the other way around i would say uh, right. uh, yes yes <laughs> okay people might get upset and these people are powerful Okay. Yeah, and Kevin also uh, wrote in the chat, uh, X formerly known as Twitter, but also he wrote like Prince. I didn't know Prince used to be called Twitter, but anyhow. Okay. Because X, of course, is an unpronounceable symbol, just like Prince's new name is an unpronounceable symbol. That's good. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. So do I speak with Kevin about this or what do I do? Yeah, I can help out with that, Alyssa. No worries. I think you just put the action item on Kevin to 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 propose the pull request for the change because he he'll go figure it out. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what other projects are doing. Right, and and that's a good Kevin's Kevin's exactly well suited to that kind of thing on the on the doc side. Look look to see what how other people describe it, how they say it, because other people other projects have the same exact challenge. Yeah. Right. Okay. Great, thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Um, all right, so FOSTEM 2024, are, uh, just to note, our, um, our stand usually is on the second floor of Building K. This year, we are at the bottom, the first floor. So once, I believe once you're, you go through the entrance, we're towards the back end of the building, um, the at least. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Bruno. For for, for your remembrance, uh, it's under the stairs leading to the to the to the uh, to the first floor, as we say in Europe. So second floor. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I see now. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not far away from the bathroom. Yeah. Thanks for the reference. That would help. So, Bruno. Uh... Uh, I'll I'll uh, catch up with you via Slack, but I should be able to help you with all the setup and all that stuff to get ready oh, before thank you. ten o'clock. On that subject, Elisa, I can report that the logistics, uh, so the different sending of stickers and other uh, material, arrived at my place uh, correctly, as I discussed that with you. And um, I already know who's going to make the, the the cab driver on Saturday morning to to build the stand. I'll exchange the boxes uh, yeah. on during the contributor summit. And congratulations for the new T-shirt design. Looks uh, great. Uh that one, uh, the beekeeper is a donation from Cloud Bees. Oh, great! So yeah. we, we, we two donations one from Cloud Bees with our beekeeper t shirt, the design, and then the other one, I believe it's just a plain Jenkins, the generic logo, and that's donated by CDF yeah. and uh, some socks yeah. too. So we got t shirts and some socks. Yeah, the socks, the socks. It, it was a terrible thing for my dog. So I had to fight to protect them from the uh, over-enthusiastic interest from my dog. <laughs> okay. So, and has has a price as a selling price been set for the items 
do we need to discuss the selling price here? Is that already a standard thing? So uh, I, what we've done oh. in the past is we walk around to see what others mm -hmm. are selling it for. That was my point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So competition-based pricing. That's very good. Okay. Stay competitive. Well, we, we have some, some very good people, very smart on, on these kind of things that are going to react very fast uh, on, on, on that. Uh, now we all agree that uh, the collected money goes to the Jenkins Fund, or is it worthwhile to give a word on that? That that so was my assumption. That's what we've done yeah. in years past. Yeah. Okay. So it, yeah. I, I was assuming now how we do that transfer. I hope we'll do it better this year than we did three or four or five years ago when it sat in someone's basement for multiple <clears> years. <throat> Let's get the funds transferred to the Jenkins account promptly if we can. Yeah. Last year it went smoothly, if I remember correctly. Very good. So I think with this year, with you being there, Mark, um, you will you will uh, be the keeper for that for the funds. Actually, I thought we okay? I thought we had Bruno planned. Yeah, I wanted but, to, but then you chimed in and say, "I'll do that." So oh, okay, but good. Because then you I'll take weren't, it. you might not be there. That was uh, the plan, but since uh, you'll right. be there, we'll I am, I am happy to take end. care of that. That is a very reasonable thing. I am happy to do that. If I've ever there is um, a fee because of the uh, currency conversion, um, feel free to reach out so that I can do that without any fee, just in case. But maybe we have to give the money in dollars anyway. We we have to donate the the funds in dollars. Okay, and, and okay. therefore so there's we'll going to be a conversion, a currency conversion anyway. process somewhere. Yeah, if it's me or somebody else. Somebody will have to do a currency conversion. And, okay. and Mark, we, we'll take care of you if you get stuck at the border with a huge amount of money, suitcases full of money from T-shirts. So we'll we'll explain right, that. Right, right. If I, I cannot import more than ten thousand U.S. into the U.S. without without paperwork, so we we must not sell more than ten thousand dollars worth of of items. Okay. <laughs> okay. We need to tell Stefan. Okay, I stopped the nonsense. Sorry, Alyssa. <laughs> um, so the last item, which uh, we have, Mark needs to uh, sign off or he needs to hop off in about 15 minutes, Sean Mark. So I thought we'd talk about okay. the Contributor Summit, the format, the yeah. agenda. Uh, this is um, a topic that uh, raised quite some discussions and where uh, I have very mixed feelings. Uh, about so the current format uh, I can I can show the 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 paperwork or do you want to, to do we need to run in on the details of the contributor summit or we just talk about the agenda I think, um, we, I think yeah, we can ahead. talk about only about the agenda right so yeah. the the general principle of the agenda is that and what I proposed uh, to the, the first circle of reviewer uh, was that we start at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, because this is when the, the meeting room is made available to us uh, officially. Uh, and the morning, so the hour and a half uh, of the morning or, or a little bit bigger than that, will be spent on... Uh, know each other presentation of the day uh, and a review very short of the different uh, officers. Uh, the, the officers talk, uh, I, I try to steer that as much as possible because it can very easily get boring, uh, is not to look backwards, but to look in front. So what do the different groups, SIGs, or officers plan to do? What are the challenges? This mm -hmm. is normally to trigger discussions uh, later. Okay, so that, uh, and that's that's inverted from what I usually present. So it's important that you set it that way. I usually look backwards and then rely on the rest of the meeting to look forwards. I like that. So you're saying yeah. look forward as the first preference. Yeah. 
Okay. Because normally most of the people attending uh, will be uh, will already know if they read the Jenkins newsletter right. and and are a little bit knowledgeable about uh, Jenkins. We we just need to do a very short refresh. Where I'm more personally about here, officers are are free to organize that uh, uh, as they 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 want. Now there are two formats that I proposed, uh, but it's it's still open. Uh, is that either we do a formal presentation, which is a lot of work to prepare to get efficient information in a ten minute format. So the the format is ten minutes presentation, five minutes buffer, mm. uh, and probably a, a technical break in between allow people to stretch their their leg uh, shortly but i tried to keep that as compact as possible uh, the other format that can be used is that we have uh, a the the, uh, the way it would work is an interview like of the officer where we give prompts and eventually a control as um uh, what's the english word for that uh uh, as, as um, an orchestra conductor where we keep the time correctly and we can uh, guide the officer in the, direct, the general direction depending on the cues given by the audience. Either they're bored by, by uh, this particular topic or they get excited by this other a topic we can then uh, dig. So this this interactive format could be uh, powerful. Really depends on on who we're we're talking to. Now, this was my proposal uh, because I received a limited amount of um, classical communications for a contributor summit. And the one that I collected and the people that stepped forward, and I'm thankful for, for those, will be for the afternoon. So I, uh, at noon, I'll, I have foreseen a one hour break uh, because we're going to grab a sandwich uh, nearby and, and eat stretch legs, uh, smoke a cigarette for people that require that. Oops. Oh, yeah. Um, but the afternoon, so from from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., uh, this is where we'll really dig into the, the more technical presentation. One is about the changes that have been made to Jenkins in order to uh, implement a high availability uh, on the CloudBees side uh, for uh, uh, CI. So some some interesting technical things there. The second topic is uh, the debate on debate strategy and, and the difficulties account encountered to remove Blue Ocean, which was uh, from the base distribution from Jenkins. This was announced already uh, some time ago, uh, remember, in Lisbon, uh, Portugal. Uh, this must be before the COVID, a long, long time ago. Uh, and and now we need to take actions uh, for that. So there's the third presentation, the, the second presentation, the third is about uh, the um, uh, directions, uh, um, uh, issues and opportunities for the user experience, uh, where a lot of work has already been done, but there are some interesting things that could be discussed and uh, where the, the audience can interact. Afternoons is much more debate, triggering, uh, explaining uh, things. Uh, and then we have a fourth. Fourth is more general, where uh, we will open the discussion to any topic that we heard uh, during the networking uh, in between. Uh, we plan to finish a little bit before five o'clock in the afternoon uh, and uh, give either, so two possibilities, either people are completely jet lagged, bored or tired 
and uh, want to get a change at the hotel or or uh, just take some some fresh air, or people can stay uh, in the court. Or the, the, there are some places where we can stay, and we would then organize a coding a session or people knowledgeable. We we can start interaction. It's still a little bit uh, obscure to me. I know what I would like to do for my personal plugin and the type of advice I would like to get. Uh, I need to to get a few people uh, and I probably will ask uh, Basil uh, to lead uh, that that effort. And then we go together uh, for for a networking event. So we go together to a restaurant, which is about 12 minutes walk time. So this is what I proposed. Uh, the reactions have been that uh, 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 first, where there, there were several ideas that were thrown on the table. I have my personal opinion there. Uh, but I'm happy to to discuss that and and listen and and, and well, let other people uh, decide. But I made with what I had available and try to to have the best program with what I have. First comment was, why not start earlier uh, so that we could have a longer break? Uh, this is indeed a good idea, but there are two practical problems uh, for that. The first one is uh, being that room is only available at 10. Uh, the second one is that the lunch possibilities uh, nearby uh, are um, scarce and will be difficult to time uh, correctly. And so it's easier to just let people go and, and grab a, a sandwich. Nearby, so logistically, and I think Bruno knows also uh, the the place. Uh, it will be less invasive uh, uh, that that way. So this is why uh, I propose it that way. So personally, I am I'm I'm not in favor or or stuck. The other comment, with, which was also. Uh, uh, interesting and worthwhile, was that why spend so much time. Uh, on um, the officer's presentation, uh, which is a good point. So first, I believe that the officer, so I, I, I'd say what my point of view uh, is. Um, well, now, to be honest, uh, officer presentation can be boring. And uh, the person wanted to have more beefy or more interesting or technically oriented presentations for that. A first comment I have with that is officers have an important role. I think we need to give them the opportunity to present it and expose their challenges for the future. So I believe this is uh, important and more practically, I didn't have any other presentation <laughs> proposals uh, uh, for that. So it's it's interesting to say, well, I want more technical presentation debates or whatever. Why well, just tell me and I'll organize it. So uh, uh, this is this is a state. So I, I organize everything with the current uh, thing. And uh, what was the last? I don't remember what were the. Basically, in a nutshell, uh, there was um, an expectation to have more profound, uh, uh, future-oriented discussion, technical presentation, uh, or whatever. So I say, well, tell me, do it. <laughs> So back to you, Mark, then for for your reaction, or if somebody else in the audience has. Yeah, I, this is the state of the plan. So I like I like your guidance. I appreciate very much your guidance. Officers, we want to be sure they have some time and charter them to do look forward rather than backwards. That that feels really good. I think the blue ocean deprecation and the UX, UX the the three topics you identified all feel like very, very important topics for 
for the project. So, so for me, that, that feels good um, in terms of if we could shrink the, the officer presentations to be less, I don't see any shame in that if they can get their message across. Um, but replaced by what? So the, this is where 10 and, minutes and, is already short and challenging. Uh, Knowing uh, me, for instance, if I had to do it in 10 minutes, I, I, I would die. Exactly. Well, and and for me, more challenging is the replaced by what question. And the, the open thought on my mind was possibly replaced with free time at the end of the day for group coding exercises, as discussed, right? If we were to yeah. accelerate the arrival of group group coding time by just 15 minutes, that actually could be quite valuable. Yeah. But but that's a that's a relative because we'll all be physically there. That's a yeah. thing we can be we can be elastic to on the day of the event. Hey, get get done quickly with the officer reports and with the look forward and get to the the meaty topics to the to the significant and relevant topics very quickly. Yeah, yeah. So I I don't uh, see that I would change anything in what you're proposing, John Mark. Okay, so well, it's reassuring. Now. My experience with these kind of things, and this is why I'd like to uh, to start with the officers in in and uh, in the way I'm going to introduce it will be very strong. Uh, is that uh, the planning allows some uh, improvisation depending on what topic we capture, mm -hmm. and this will be your my responsibility right. to. Uh, um, uh, uh, take the opportunity of some free time during the afternoon or where we can arrange, squeeze something uh, or, or so, or even in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so I'm, I'm ready to, to and, and I think it will be necessary to adapt the, the presentation depending on the uh, on, I, I really want to grab opportunities. And, and, uh, and I agree. There. And I think you've, you've said it very, very well. You and I will be there physically, and we will certainly intervene to try to make that meeting as effective as we can based on already the, the preparation that you're doing and that you'll continue to doing as we do as we get closer to it. So yeah. for me, I think that's a, that's a good assumption and a correct plan for us that we will adapt the agenda as necessary right. while we're there. Yeah. So, well, this this the 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 spirit. Uh, I might reach out to you uh, personally, and also with the officers. There are different formulas. I don't want officers to feel because doing such a presentation in ten minutes is challenging. There are other ways to do uh, to do it. Uh, uh, maybe we could. I have several ideas trying to optimize the time and the purpose is that it's not a boring experience. Anyway, if I see somebody fall asleep, I will wake him up. Great. Thank you. So, now, so this is the, the, the planning proposal. And I apologize. I have to drop off for my other meeting, but I think, I think you've got the right, right approach. We can talk about it separately. We can also talk about it in the advocacy channel or on the, maybe even better on the community forum and say, yeah. Yeah, we're here's where we're headed. Uh, this was my question about the, the next steps with that proposal. Can I move ahead in the, the next announcement? So one will so. be a, a blog post, maybe waiting first to do the community and give opportunity to uh, the audience to interact with that. And then I'll do a blog post to... Uh, I like that. I think that's a great that's a great way to approach it. Absolutely. Okay. So if you agree with me, then I I go ahead. But I'm I'm ready to listen to comments or thank you. Thanks very much for what you're doing. Alyssa, I apologize for having to drop off. Thanks very no much. Problem. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Um, so John Mark, perhaps so I think who attend the contributor summit is will kind of dictate our agenda. That's how I see it. Uh, and yes. I've, I've been to enough contributor summit where I've seen um, both spectrum, right? So where we had a full room of let's over 50 people that just wanted to sit and 
listen. Um, and then we also have a room of, let's say, less than 20 people that are heavy Jenkins contributors. So I think if if it helps, you know, so we, we know that the room is, we're limited to the 30 capacity. And then if we take, I know that you've already started like the register or you know who's going to be attending the, yeah. the contributor summit. But if, we, if you want, we can set up a form and people can, you know, sign up, register as, as, yeah. as you will. And then that'll give you an idea like where our agenda should be um, right. in advance. Yeah. You know, yeah. Trying to, to steer that at, at, as much, but know as a military know that plans holds just the first minutes of the battle. So we will have to right. adapt. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. Yeah. And I think Mark has been there often enough and he's, I've seen him just, you know, uh, throw things out there on the fly and it works out just perfectly and it'll, right, yeah. and it will be perfect. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's good for me. I'll, I'll work out with you the logistics part because at a certain point uh, I need to know how many people will join us for the, yeah. the evening uh, dinner. Okay. Uh, so okay. I need to confirm the numbers. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. that's it for me. Um, with the community post, I'll publish the link to the different work documents so people can review them. Okay, sounds good. Done. Thanks. Me. Thank you, Jean Marc. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining. I Take care. Question. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Hi, Chris. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm here late. But um, I've been wondering if you have confirmed the time for the January 25th JOM. Ah, so that will be the same time as our previous one, which is 8 a.m. my time. And um, your time, that's... Yeah, so that will be really late for you as usual. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, I think it's night, but not, not too late, though. Because, like, uh, it... cause... oh, because, uh, like, Harsh has been asking about it. Cause I need to tell him in advance cause, so we can make arrangements to, to attend. Okay. So, so is that okay? Is that time okay? Or do I, should I change it? I think it's okay. Yeah, it's a good time. 